Presumptive signs of pregnancy. Remember that presumptive signs are what the mother will describe or complain about. Her complaints may be the following. Amenorrhea. Fatigue. Nausea and vomiting. Urinary frequency. Breast changes such as dark and areola. Quickening which is a slight fluttering movements of the fetus felt by the client, this usually happens between 16 to 20 weeks of gestation. Probable signs. These are signs you can see and measure. These signs include cervical changes, Hagar's sign, which is a softening and compressibility of lower uterus, Chadwick's sign. This is a deepened violet bluish color of vaginal mucosa secondary to increased vascularity of the area. Goodell's sign, which is a softening of cervical tip allotment, rebound of unengaged fetus. Braxton Hicks contractions, these are false contractions, painless, irregular, and usually relieved by walking. Positive pregnancy test. Positive signs. These are signs related to presence of fetus. This includes fetal heart tones, visualization of fetus by ultrasound, fetal movement palpated by an experienced examiner, verifying pregnancy. Serum and urine tests provide an accurate assessment for the presence of human chorionic. Gonadotropin, HCG. HCG can be detected 6 to 11 days in serum and 26 days in urine after conception following implantation. Higher levels can indicate multifetal pregnancy, ectopic pregnancy, a hydatidiform mole, which is a gestational trophoblastic disease, or a genetic abnormality such as Down syndrome. Lower blood levels of HCG may suggest a miscarriage or ectopic pregnancy. Some medications such as anticonvulsants, diuretics, tranquilizers, can cause false positive or false negative pregnancy results. Calculating delivery date. Nagel's rule. This is a must-know for nursing exams. This is a formula for calculating the estimated date of birth. To calculate EDB, subtract 3 months and add 7 days to the first day of the last menstrual period. McDonald's rule. This is when the uterine fundal height is measured in centimeters from the symphysis pubis to the top of the uterine fundus. Between 18 and 32 weeks of gestation, the fundal height measurement should approximate gestational age. In the next video, we will cover antepartum fetal assessment.